Hey, Calvin here, and this is the Logitech R400 Wireless Presenter, and I wanted to do a re-review on this presenter because my previous video on this presenter had gotten a lot of views, a lot of questions, and I just wanted to re-record it because honestly, the video quality was not that good. The lighting was really bad, the camera quality was bad, I think the sound was only coming from the left side of the speaker, and I looked like I hadn't slept in like, Four days. This time around, I've gotten a little bit more sleep, so I think I can redo this video and hopefully answer some of your questions about this presenter. So, I myself, I personally love presenting. I've done it a lot in college, I've done a lot for personal projects, and I've done some presentations at work. And every time I saw people giving really cool presentations with this clicker and other clickers in general, I decided to get myself one. So, Logitech also makes some other presenters, including the R500, which I think is is kind of the next iteration of this R400. They also make the R800 Pro or Advanced, and they also have the Spotlight Premium Presenter, which is, hence the name, very premium. It's also very expensive, but it does have some pretty cool features. Now, this R400 Presenter did have everything I needed at the time, and it was also under budget, so it was a great option a few years ago, especially when I made that old video. However, I do have a few other thoughts about this presenter in particular, and I would actually recommend a different presenter, but if you are here for the R400 presenter, it's still a great presenter, and let's get into some of the reasons why. And in the later part of this video, I'll go ahead and share my thoughts on some other presenters, but for this video, let's go ahead and talk about the R400 wireless presenter. Okay, to start off, I wanna talk about ergonomics because that's probably one of the most important parts about a presenter when you're presenting on stage, you wanna have a device that feels good in your hand. As you can see, the presenter is bigger on the bottom than it is on the top. So that makes it very easy to fit in your hand, to hold and to grip. Now, speaking of grip, the actual material around this presenter is sort of this hard plastic that's very smooth yet very velvety. Now, if you've ever tasted red velvet cupcakes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyway, the best way I can describe it is this really velvety material that's super, super fine. Now, when you're holding it and you're not actually presenting on stage and your hand is dry, it feels like any other sort of plastic material. However, when you're on stage and your hand gets a little sweaty, this grip is so good. You will not drop this presenter because that's the last thing you wanna do during a presentation. So I noticed that when I would present on stage, and I naturally get a little nervous and my palms get a little bit sweaty. The presenter itself stayed in my hand because of the material. It also has this button grip on the back, which doesn't really make too much of a difference, but it's nice, it's there if, in case you need it. Okay, and going past that to the design and the layout of the presenter itself. So at the very top, you have uh, several sets of buttons. You have the back button, you have the forward button, you have the start presentation button, and you also have a black screen button, which I don't tend to use too often. Now, the cool thing about the forward button is it has this little dot on the button so you don't actually ever have to look down at the presenter to figure out what button you need to press to go next. You can just feel it with your thumb and it's right there and you can click the next button. Okay, on the side you have this little slider button with some grip and you can use that button to turn the presenter on and off. And it's also color coded so you can quickly just glance down and see if the device is on or off, which is nice. It also has this little battery icon that very temporarily flashes green to indicate that the device is fully charged. Now at the top of the presenter, you have a laser pointer button so you can entertain your cat and your dog for hours and have loads of fun. Now, if you don't happen to have either, kids work as well. Anyway, or you can use a laser pointer to, you know, point at stuff on your keynote or your PowerPoint presentation, which is really nice. And it also has a start slideshow and a black screen button. I don't really use the black screen button like I mentioned before, but the play or the start presentation button is nice to have. So you can just easily start the presentation when you get on stage. Okay, so let's get into some of the tech specs. So how do you actually connect this device to your machine, your Mac or your Windows computer? Well, at the bottom, it has this wireless receiver, which is a USB plug that just goes into a regular USB port 
and it is mostly plug and play so you can just connect it into your device and be good to go very quickly. I do wish the receiver was USB-C compatible. A lot of computers nowadays are opting for the USB-C standard, but this is just your regular USB. So I do wish Logitech would upgrade this to a USB-C, but it's just a regular USB. It works well, but if you do have a computer that is only USB-C, you will need an adapter. Now you can store this receiver at the bottom of the presenter and there's this really satisfying click when you do. And that just ensures that the receiver itself is locked into place so it's not gonna fall out of the presenter. Okay, the presenter itself requires two AAA batteries. They last forever. So on Logitech's website, it states that if you were to only use the laser pointer feature on this presenter, it would last you about 20 hours. And if you use everything but the laser pointer, it would last you 1,050 hours. So it's plenty of battery time. I do wish the presenter itself was rechargeable. The last thing I would want is to go on stage with almost drained batteries and not be able to recharge it really quickly and use it. Okay, so the device itself is running on a 2.4 gigahertz wireless frequency and all that means is that it just performs really well in places where there might be a lot of other wireless interference, such as Bluetooth, other radio signals, Wi-Fi signals, other presenters, other devices. And the wireless range for this presenter away from the receiver is about 50 feet or about 15 meters. So you can get decently far away from the actual receiver and still be able to communicate with your device. And lastly, it comes with this cool carrying pouch, a soft mesh carrying case. So you can use this to protect the presenter, store it in your backpack or your bag and be good to go. Okay, regarding operating system. So on Logitech's website, it states that this presenter works well with Windows machines. However, I use Apple devices. And so far, this presenter has worked well on my Apple computer. So I have a 13 inch 2020 MacBook Pro, and I've also used it on my 2014 MacBook Pro that I had a few years ago. And yes, it will work on most recent versions of Windows. So we're talking Windows Vista. <laughs> Do people even use Vista anymore? Anyway, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and any newer versions of Windows. Okay, so overall, this is a great presenter, especially if you're on some sort of a budget. On the Logitech website, it, it does go for about $49, but I think I picked mine up for about $35 on Amazon. I'll include links to those uh, pages down below. However, I do want to make one big recommendation, and that is if you are looking for the R400, I would actually recommend you go with the R500. It is newer, the button layout is a lot simpler, and sometimes you can actually find it cheaper than this R400. So I wanna talk about some comparisons between the R400, which I have here, and the R500, which is a lot newer. So this one, R400, it takes two AAA batteries, the R500 takes one, and I think it lasts for about 12 months of use. It also has a greater range. So this one has a 50 foot range. The R500 has a 65 foot range. So you can get a little bit further away if you're on a bigger presentation area. And it officially supports Mac computers. So the R500 supports both Windows and Mac, whereas this officially only supports Windows even though I use it on my Apple computer. And the R500 works with more apps. So outside of PowerPoint, it also works well with Apple's Keynote app as well as Google Slides if you use that. And finally, it also has Bluetooth and USB. This only has USB. So it's a little bit more versatile, the R500. It has Bluetooth, so I don't think you need the receiver, but it has the receiver in it as well. Okay, so that's my review on the R400 wireless presenter. In conclusion, it's a good presenter. It'll do exactly what you need it to, to present on stage and present your keynote or your PowerPoint. However, I would recommend the R500 for the reasons I listed previously. Uh, let me know if you want a review on the R500. I've been thinking about picking one up. It looks a lot more minimal than this one, which is also another benefit to get it. With something like the R400, you have a lot of buttons and a lot of layout. So during a presentation, you don't really want the complexity of a lot of buttons. You just want simple ergonomic presses so that you can move forward and backward in your presentation. Okay, so if you have questions on the R400 or even the R500, uh, please let me know down in the comments below and I will see you all in the next one.
Okay, so for batteries, this thing uses two triple, 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 triple chocolate chip batteries. They use chocolate chip batteries. <laughs> what am I talking about? So for ergonomics, the design of this thing, it's much fatter on the bottom. It kind of looks like me after Christmas, after I've eaten all those cookies. What? 